Hi, my name is Diana Lamolinara, and I teach Spanish for Excelsior classes. After teaching for many years, I kind of have an idea of what students are going to have trouble with when learning Spanish. And one of these troublesome areas or pitfalls is the use of the verb gustar and other verbs like gustar. In English, gustar means to be pleasing, and it is the verb that we use when translating the English verb to like. Now, what's the trouble with gustar? Why it makes it so difficult? Well, beginning Spanish students learn that to use verbs properly, they have to change the ending according to the subject. Now, this is the verb hablar. It is in the present tense. The present tense is the tense I'll be using uh, throughout this video presentation. And it has six different verb endings according to the subject. So if the subject is yo or I, we remove the ending, which in this case is AR. We put in a no. Yo hablo, I speak, tu hablas, you speak, etc. And we use subject pronouns. These are subject pronouns. Yo, tu, él, ella, usted, nosotros, etc. and so on. The problem with the verb gustar, it's that um, the subject of the verb is not the person who likes the thing, but it's the thing that you like, the thing that's pleasing to you. So, for example, if I like ice cream, I'm really going to be saying ice cream is pleasing to me rather than I like ice cream. So we're going to be using two forms of the verb. We're going to, most of the time, we're going to either use habla for either singular things that I like, like a noun, uh, like ice cream. Or, for example, if I like an activity, for, like let's say I like to swim, nadar, I'm also going to use uh, this form of the verb habla. If I like something that's plural, like if I like, for example, uh, uh, cars, I'm going to use this form, which is hablan, the ellos, ellas, ustedes form, which is hablan. And then to represent me, I'm going to use an indirect object pronoun. Let me show you what I mean by that uh, by going to the next slide here. To talk about singular things that you like, like el chocolate, chocolate, again, you use a singular, el ella, usted form of the verb, which is gusta. And then to represent the person who likes it, you're going to use an indirect object pronoun. So the subject is really the thing you like, el chocolate. El chocolate is pleasing to me. El chocolate is pleasing to you, and so on. If you're going to talk about activities that you like, for example, sharing. I like to share, right? So compartir is the uh, verb at the infinitive. By the way, any verb after gustar is going to be in the infinitive. I'm also going to use that el ella usted form of the verb gusta. Sharing. Uh, is pleasing to me, sharing is pleasing to you, etc. If you um, are talking about something, a plural thing that you like, like the movies, and then you're going to use gusta. Okay, so movies are pleasing to me, they're pleasing, movies are pleasing to you, and so on. So most of the time, we're only going to use in the present tense gusta or gusta. To summarize what I just talked about, numero uno, the subject of gusta is the thing that you like and not the person who likes it. Most of the time, gustar is conjugated using the ella ya usted or the ellos, 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 ellas, ustedes form of the verb. The person who likes the thing is represented in the sentence by an indirect object pronoun or not, I mean, an indirect object pronoun, not a subject pronoun. The order is kind of weird and it's generally like this. Indirect object pronoun like me, form of gustar, usually gusta or gustan, and the thing that you like. If the thing you like is a singular noun, el helado, ice cream, la casa, house, or an activity, hablar, to speak, comer, to eat, dormir, to sleep, you're going to use the el ella usted form of the verb, which is gusta in the present tense. If the thing you like is a plural noun, los chocolates, chocolate, las películas, the movies, then you use the ellos, ellas, ustedes form of the verb, which is gusta. One last thing, do not conjugate the verb after gustar. It stays in the infinitive. And here we have other verbs like gustar, encantar, fascinar, doler, faltar, importar, interesar, molestar. These can also be used like gustar. Again, my name is Diana La Molinara. I teach Spanish at Excelsior classes. If you are an inter interested in checking us out and what we have to offer, please go to excelsiorclasses.com. Thank you.